Disability can strike at any time. Just because you're diagnosed with an impairment or a disability, that doesn't mean your life has lost meaning. There's many different events, disease, and chronic illnesses that can cause anyone to become disabled at any given point in their lives, regardless of their age, gender, or social status, like the ones I'm about to describe. I've put together a list of seven celebrities that suffered severe health setbacks and disabilities. But before I begin with the countdown, take a second to please click the subscribe button and join the channel and my community for more videos like this one. Number seven, Christopher Reeve, paralysis due to injury. If you're a big superhero fan like I am, you definitely know that Christopher Reeve was not only Superman on camera, but also in real life. Born on September 25, 1952 in New York City, he went on to study at Cornell University before landing acting roles on Broadway and Hollywood. He went on to start in movies such as Mortal Sins, Black Fox, Above Suspicion, and of course, the Superman sequel. But it was an equestrian competition that changed his life in 1995 at 42 years old. His thoroughbred stopped dry as he approached a triple jump pole, causing Reef to fall headfirst across the barrier. The accident left him paralyzed from the neck down, needing to use a wheelchair for the rest of his life. While he couldn't do the same physical activities he was used to, he became a real superhero in life as an advocate for people living with paralysis. In 1999, with the support of his second wife, he created the Christopher and Dana Reeves Foundation, raising more than $130 million to fund research for different treatments and awarded grants to more than 100,000 injured individuals and their families. Number six, JK Rowling, mental illness. It's reported that at least one in four people in the UK experience a mental illness in a given year. And although no official report of a disability diagnosis, JK Rowling has been very open about her own battle with depression. In 2008, she spoke to a journalist and said, we're talking suicidal thoughts here. We're not talking, I'm a little bit miserable. And what was her best treatment? You guessed it, the Harry Potter books. In her books, she talks about the Dementors, or these dark creatures that suck the life and happiness out of everything. She revealed these characters were inspired by her own feelings of depression. Rowling has been an advocate and supporter of people battling depression around the world, constantly tweeting about seeking professional help and positive thoughts such as, the world is full of wonderful things you haven't seen yet. Don't ever give up on the chance of seeing them. Number five. Venus Williams, Sjogren's Syndrome. One of the all-time greats of women's tennis has been battling with an autoimmune disease since 2004, but went undiagnosed for seven years. The athlete describes having tremendous fatigue, shortness of breath, and waking up feeling very sick some days. Characterized by dry eyes and mouth, Sjogren's syndrome, which cannot be cured, is a disorder in which the body's immune system attacks its own healthy cells that produce saliva and tears. And it often occurs with other disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. In 2011, Venus told the New York Times, the fatigue is hard to explain unless you have it. Some mornings I feel really sick, like when you don't get a lot of sleep or you have a cold or flu. I always have some level of tiredness, and the more I try to push through it, the more tough it got. But that didn't stop Venus, as she kept fighting in the court making a comeback, qualifying for the Women's Tennis Association Finals 10 years later and finished ranked number 5 in the world. Number 4. Michael J. Fox, Parkinson's Disease The star of Teen Wolf, Casualties of War, and the Back to the Future trilogy, Michael J. Fox was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at just 29 years old, though the actor didn't disclose his disability until seven years after his diagnosis. The Canadian actor, comedian, author, and film producer won many awards through his career, including five Primetime Emmy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards, two Screen Actor Guild Awards, and a Grammy. Even with his disease, he continued to make guest appearances on television and did the voiceover in films like Stuart Little and Atlantis The Lost Empire. 
Although he eventually retired his career as an actor, he went on to advocate for people living with disabilities and started his own foundation, the Michael J. Fox Foundation, in the year 2000, to help fund the research for a cure for Parkinson's disease. If you've liked this video so far, don't forget to click the like button, and if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button to support my channel. Number 3. Tracy Morgan Car Accident Tracy Jamal Morgan is an American actor and comedian best known for his work with Saturday Night Live between 1996 and 2003. Born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, Morgan began his career in stand-up comedy at the young age of 17. In 1996, Morgan was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and battled alcoholism for years. 14 years later, he underwent surgery receiving a kidney transplant as a result of his diabetes and alcohol abuse. The actor overcame many of his health issues. But in 2014, Morgan was involved in a six-car crash in New Jersey when a Walmart truck driver fell asleep while operating the company's tractor trailer. The deadly accident claimed the life of Tracy Morgan's longtime friend, comedian James McNair, and left him with several serious injuries. Morgan suffered a broken leg and femur, broken nose, broken ribs, and traumatic brain injury that required him to undergo rehab including physical therapy, cognitive therapy, and daily speech rehab. Just a year after the accident, he said in an emotional interview that he was still recovering from headaches and some memory loss. And although six years have passed from the tragic car wreck, during a 2020 interview, the comedian expressed he still had difficulty walking without a cane or any assistance, as well as other diminished mobility. And although it's not clear whether the actor will go back to being the same person prior to the accident, he remains grateful for a second chance and optimistic for the future. Number 2. Franklin Delano Roosevelt Polio In 1921, at the age of 39, Franklin Delano Roosevelt contracted a debilitating illness. While vacationing with family and friends, FDR fell sick and showed symptoms of fever, numbness, bladder and bowel dysfunction, facial and extremities paralysis, among others. While many of the symptoms resolved and he mostly recovered shortly after, his paralysis of the lower extremities remained, leading to a diagnosis of paralytic poliomyelitis, also known as polio. But this impairment did not stop the Democratic politician. The cousin of former President Ted Roosevelt defeated Herbert Hoover in the presidential elections of 1932, becoming the 32nd President of the United States and serving an unprecedented four terms. He went on to lead during the worst economic crisis in U.S. history, known as the Great Depression, as well as presiding the end of the Prohibition and not to mention he was the first American president to be televised. However, more recent studies of FDR symptoms and illness revealed possible new information and questioned his polio diagnosis. It was Dr. Armin Goldman, a pediatrician from the University of Texas, who suggested that some of FDR's symptoms were inconsistent with the polio diagnosis and that instead, symptoms were more similar to those found on patients who contracted the Guillain-Barr syndrome, an autoimmune disease that damages sensory and motor nerves. And at number one, one of the greatest minds of all time, Stephen Hawking, ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. Stephen William Hawking was one of the most recognized scientists of our time. Born in Oxford to a family of doctors, Hawking became one of the most iconic geniuses the world has ever seen. In 1963, at the age of 21, and right before obtaining a PhD in applied mathematics and theoretical physics, he was diagnosed with a condition that gradually paralyzed him over the years. He had been feeling symptoms of a rare early onset of the motor neuron disease, such as falling from stairs and his speech became slightly slurred. By late 1960s and after being given a two-year life expectancy, Hawking defied all odds and refused to be considered disabled, living an independent life as much as possible. It wasn't until the 90s that he accepted his position as a role model for people living with disabilities and participated in fundraising events. And do you remember the popular Ice Bucket Challenge? 
Hawking accepted the challenge in August of 2014 to promote awareness and raise funds for researching a cure for ALS. But given he had pneumonia the year prior and doctors advised him not to pour ice over his head, his children accepted the challenge instead. A world-renowned physicist, cosmologist, author, and a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, among other impressive awards, he lived with ALS for more than 50 years before passing away peacefully at age 76. Life is full of challenges. The celebrities on this list are examples that a diagnosis of disability doesn't mean it's the end. And to everyone fighting an illness or injury, know that you are not alone. Thanks for watching.